Well, every year, the Todd County Soil and Water Conservation District hosts a unique event for students across the county. Reporter Rachel Johnson has more. Electricity, bees, farm animals. These are just a few of the things Todd County 6th graders were able to see and learn about at the annual Todd County EnviroFest. Lots and lots of hands-on activities. You know, we can read about it and listen to it, but to actually get out and do things with their hands, it's fantastic to kind of drive some of these concepts about a good, healthy earth home to all the kids. There were around 25 stations in total, and they had everything to do with the environment, from fire safety and prevention to beekeeping and farm animals. Fur-bearing animals to invertebrates, to um, how, do you, how do you treat water and soil. We just went through the science museum with the water and they learned so much about the importance of keeping our water clean, our water you know, drinkable. The event was started 25 years ago in order to bring students to nature and has been held at Dale and Marie Catterhagen's farm every year. We were asked uh, if we wouldn't host it and uh, Yes, we said yes, and we've been hosting it ever since. We have presenters out here that have been students out here now. The event offers an important opportunity for kids who do not live in the country, who are not able to enjoy the outdoors, to experience nature. There's kids that never get to a real working farm or even as far as getting out to nature besides looking what goes by the car window, for example. I think it's really important. It really provides that outdoor education and farm education and natural resource education that uh, a lot of students, a lot of kids don't get. EnviroFest has left a lasting impact with many students over the 25 years it has been held. The kids that have been here that can see you down the road and they still say, I remember, that was good. If they can take away one thing from the farm, it's just giving them that little seed. And um, like I say, it's just an adventure. Throughout the day, it was clear that everyone in attendance hopes the tradition of EnviroFest will carry on for many years to come. I hope it continues for another 25 years. Yeah, and longer. Reporting from Browerville, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. In addition to the over 25 stations, the event featured a free lunch for the students and tours of the Caterhagen Farm. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.